just legalized cast nets a couple years ago, so this is like a new thing here in Minnesota that's really, really awesome that the DNR is letting us do now. I'm just learning and I thought I'd show you guys how I'm doing this, so I'll record more when I get to the river and explain kind of what I'm doing, how I'm finding the shad. I don't have a boat or anything, I don't have a fish finder, so it's a little bit of a different experience and also throwing from a kayak, sitting down instead of uh, standing up in a boat, so I will record more when I get to the river. So in this video, I just want to show you a little bit how I'm trying to get some shad. I'm trying to get some gizzard shad for bait for sturgeon and catfish. So you need to take a little course and get your permit and everything. Get a cast net and get it tagged before you can actually go out and try to catch them. So just keep that in mind if you're interested. It's pretty easy. You just go on the Minnesota DNR website and they'll have a link there for you. So if you're interested in learning how to use a cast net, it's a pretty fun thing. I typically like to go out in a boat with other people who have boats. Right now I'm in a kayak. I'm actually borrowing a fishing kayak. You can see um, just a little one. I'm not very high off the surface of the water. So um, I'm gonna be throwing a smaller net, a four foot net. I do also have a five foot net, which is actually an eight foot and 10 foot net total. So I'm gonna be throwing my cast net, trying to get some gizzard shad. And I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing, where I'm going and how I'm trying to find them. There's a lot of seagulls above me. Like there's seagulls everywhere. So for finding these shad, the first thing I want to point out on the river, sometimes you'll see seagulls that are circling around and sometimes swooping down and they're eating off the surface. They could be eating a number of different kinds of fish, um, but sometimes they're eating shad. They were just circling around about half an hour ago and I came over here and now they're kind of in the bay. And then another thing here is the bay. Never been in here before, so I'm gonna throw the cast in around and see if I can find anything in here. All right, so I'm kind of over in the corner of the bay in the far end, and I'm seeing some ripples on the surface. Nothing huge, like not a bunch, but there are little ripples you can see kind of randomly. So there could be shad in here. I'm seeing more over there, so I'm gonna check that area out. Kind of just going around in here looking for um, things on the surface. Just throw my net here and there. Oh, I could feel some. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump these out. That's really, really messy. So here's my first group of shad that I got. Some really nice shad in here. This one's like the size of my hand. If you can see, it's literally like a foot deep here. There's a lot of rocks, a lot of ton of algae. Like literally that's how deep it is. So another thing that I personally would try, I've caught a good amount of shad right next to docks before. So first the bay, shallow areas with a lot of algae, places with seagulls, places where you can see ripples. But the other night I was actually out looking for shad. Really, really windy and wavy and I cast all over in a bay. The only place that I found them all night was right next to the dock where I launched. So that also, that night was a big lesson. Right next to a dock can be a really good spot. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda try to throw around the docks. I'm gonna go over in the corner here. Even though I'm not seeing any shad right now, I am gonna try to throw. A couple. They're really tiny. I don't know, the ones I'm finding back here are very, very small, but they're shad and they work. This area I thought might be good to check. About 20 minutes ago or so, I was seeing seagulls circling all over, uh, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it could mean shad. It's my thought at least, I don't know. So I'm just gonna kind of cast blindly in this area, see. I don't know how deep it is, so I'm gonna let it kind of just go. Oh, I could feel some. I felt some, let's see if I have some. Oh, I do, just a couple. Let's see, I got three. I just wanted to show real quickly how I'm throwing the cast net from the kayak. Um, I mean, everybody throws it a little different. I don't know that there's necessarily like a right or wrong way, but this is just something that I'm trying, that I'm doing. 
Um, so first of all, I'm using a four foot cast mat, it, which is lighter, smaller than, you know, like the five foot, which is the max that we can actually throw here in Minnesota. I'll kind of show you what I'm doing as far as actually tossing it. It's a little bit different. Um, I'm not standing obviously like on a boat where I'm standing up. I've got more area where I'm able to like throw it from farther down, get a better arch. So basically just sitting, keeping it just out of the water. You've got your rope. I, I put it on my wrist like this. Do about every, I don't know, three feet or whatever that is. Just whatever's comfortable. So I wrap it around, you get up here, and then I kind of just grab this area right here. I personally just kind of go by weight, what feels right when I'm gonna throw it, which is about halfway down. So it's a four foot net, I grab about two feet from the bottom, toss it on that side, put one weight up on top and pinch it. And then there's the two sides hanging down of the rope. I grab the one closer to me, I grab a weight, and then instead of throwing it, out across my body like that like I normally would um, I actually throw it like up I'm basically aiming up here and the last thing I let go just the very last second is this so it actually helps when I hold on this it actually helps spread it out a little more I think personally so um, kind of anywhere in here so throw it up over release this a little bit last And there you have it. And then when I do this, I wait, I let it sink. Oh, I feel shad. No way. And then I reel it in hand by hand and I wrap it up again. Look at that. Oh, it's not a shad. Got a white, white bass in there. So yeah, that's how I do that. Also, I have to make note of this for the DNR, but so yeah, that's what I caught in that cast. And then I just release that in the water there. Let them go. And then I've got my horn ready and just do the same thing. I grab it halfway down and it's ready to go right away again, immediately. So get it ready. And again, throw it up over facing that way like I'm actually throwing it up in the air, grabbing a bead on the side closest to me and letting go of the bead just a little bit after this. So, wasn't a perfect circle, but hey, it works. Let it sink, feel the bottom, reel it in, hand over hand. Get it about to the horn, grab it, release it, and then grab halfway down. And just like that, Ready to throw again. That's how I do it from kayak. So I've been watching fish jumping out here. Something something bigger is eating off the surface. I made a couple casts, I caught a couple shad. You see like a little school on the surface, which is what I was seeing. They will move around, so you just kind of follow them around, which is pretty fun in a kayak. You just have to have the net ready. Just to recap, a couple things you guys can take away from this video. So the number one way that I found Shad tonight was looking for ripples on the surface. That was by far the biggest way I found Shad, but you can't always have that. So checking bays, checking areas with docks, really shallow areas with algae. You could check areas if you're seeing seagulls or other fish eating off the top of the surface. But there's so many different places that you can find shad and I just want to share with you guys how I'm finding them right now in a kayak, how I'm throwing from a kayak and everything. Just such a really cool, fun learning experience, something new. All right, well, I think I found enough shad tonight and I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing. It's getting dark and I'm pretty excited. If I get any fish, I'll make a video. I hope you guys, if you're looking for shad, this video is a little bit helpful for you guys. Okay, so this is what I'm using. Trying to get some scent out. Okay, so I have a fish on here. I know you guys probably can't see it. Okay, it's like literally just taking out a bunch of line. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Let me tip this. Okay, I'm gonna go to shore. I'm on the shore. Just pulled over here in my little kayak. All right, so I just made the video a little bit ago of catching shad. I'm using the shad that I just caught. And I've got something on my line. No idea what it is yet, but it feels really good. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't have the greatest lighting. Guys, this fish feels good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> wow. That was amazing and really took it hard. Guys, this is not a little fish. I don't know what this is, but it is not a little fish. Okay. I don't want to horse it too much. Check my drag. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Guys, this fish is powerful. My heart is racing already. Wow. Okay, it looks like it's actually right here. What is it? What is it? Oh. Man, oh, no way, it's a big flathead, wow, that is huge, this is the biggest flathead I have ever seen, wow, my heart is racing right now, you guys, this is awesome, I'm like literally shaking right now, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh. okay, so this is a beautiful fish that I, that I just got, measure this guy get him entered into a tournament beautiful beautiful flathead this thing is huge I was not expecting a flathead that size. I mean, I've got flatheads on shad before and I didn't know if it was a sturgeon or a, a flathead or what, but oh my gosh, that was so, so cool. So that was an amazing example of what you can catch with shad. I just got a bunch of shad in the kayak tonight. I'm still learning how to do this, but um, ended up getting a really, really beautiful flathead. Guys, it's it's a really good bait um, if you guys can get out there and get it in your cast net. But, Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.